we're going to weld some aluminum. This is a material a lot of people have problems with. Uh, aluminum melts around 1200 degrees and the, it has more thermal conductivity than steel. So it actually changes as you weld on it. As the piece gets saturated with heat, it conducts heat away from the weld at a slower rate and the weld stays hot longer. So therefore we have to change things as we weld. So I'm going to change in the beginning my travel speed. This is 120 thousandths thick aluminum, just like with steel, even though it melts at a lower temperature, the higher thermal conductivity is going to keep me right up at about 120 amps. Um, so I'll start out at 120, 125 amps. I got my machine set for 130 back there. And as I weld, you'll notice in the beginning of the weld, I'll travel pretty slow. As I get to the middle of the weld, I'll start to pick my speed up. And as I get to the end of the weld, I'm going to start backing my current off. I may back way down to 70, 70, 60 amps at the end of the weld. So we'll see how this goes. I'm picking up my travel speed now, still running the same amperage. Dip about one time every second. Move about an eighth of an inch with each dip. I'm going to start backing off my current now. It's getting pretty hot. I'm making an adjustment here. Current down, there's nowhere for the heat to go. At the very end, I'll back off, freeze the puddle a little bit, add a little extra filler metal on the top. Very important at the end to fill that crater up. A concave crater causes cracks in some alloys of aluminum. So I backed off that foot pedal added a little filler metal on the end and filled that crater up so it was convex instead of concave. <laughs>